For Florida State, another hurdle toward the crown that has eluded them. For North Carolina, the opportunity of a lifetime. Jam-packed. Keenan Stadium, Chapel Hill, North Carolina. And for folks who think this is basketball country, well, it is. But tonight you're going to find out it's also football country. Overall in the season, about to get underway. From the 18, Matt Fryer. Still on his feet, and he'll take it to the 32-yard line. Offensively for Florida State. Charlie Ward, front runner for the Heisman, awfully good basketball player as well, and the maturation period continues to be right on schedule. The wide receivers, he's got a bunch of them. Knox is a big guy who is very dependable. 6'3", 200, he's a senior. And up front, the offensive line, everyone is a sophomore, with the exception of Patrick O'Neill, who's a junior, and they think that 53, Clay Shiver, the sophomore from Tipton, Georgia. It complete. Vanover close to the first down. The defense for North Carolina tonight. Marcus Jones. So goes Marcus on that front push. So goes the rest of the defense. They've got to get some push from up front. The linebackers, they're very good. A patient senior who has seen it good or actually saw it bad and now sees it good. Bernardo Harris. And in the secondary, this is a good group of athletes. And they'll come up and hit you. Bracey Walker, the leader there. Pass complete in the flat and it's flyer. Boy, that's what I'm talking about. He gets tagged. Warwick Dunn is coming to the backfield in the 28. Ward, that's who he looks for, and he's got him. 45, still on his feet. Breaks the tackle, knocked out of bounds inside the 35-yard line. Pressure up the middle, looking long. Fryer is open, but he misses him. Ward took a pretty good shot. He's only been sacked one time by Clemson. Accepted by Sean Boyd. Straight ahead with the fullback and Malcolm Marshall, Carolina Tar Heels. Curtis Johnson will see Johnson and Johnson tonight. The 32 Curtis is a sophomore, almost averages eight yards per carry. The wide receivers, Corey Holiday. Uh, he's already graduated, has 10 receptions for 181 yards, and up front, even Bobby Bowden said, one of the things that really has gotten his attention about North Carolina, their offensive front, and Sean Hawker, a pre-med student, is the man who is the bell cow. He anchors that at left guard. Play action, Stanisek throws it complete and long, his tight end. Look at the starters on defense. Todrick McIntosh has not started the first three games. Coach is trying to get a message across. He's starting tonight. They say that the light has come on. The linebackers, boy, they're very good. This guy, Derek Brooks, could be all everything before the year's over. He's a 4-4 four -four sprinter at 226. And then the secondary, Mr. Reliable. He's already played three years. He's back for another Clifton Abraham. Brooks looked like the first guy out to the workout because you have the defensive backs on their back feet backing up. Here it comes. Stanisek will keep it. Pitches now to Johnson and he can motor. Curtis Johnson hit behind the line of scrimmage. Positive four plus yards on first down. Leon Johnson comes in a tailback, number 12. Second part of the tandem. He averages almost nine yards a carry. They set screen to the other side, and the fullback, William Henderson, drops the football. Mm -hmm. Pressure, and Stenisek is going to be sacked. That is Chris Cowart, a junior from New Orleans. Corey, a junior out of Key West, Florida. Good high coverage kick. This one as high as the pine trees that surround the stadium, and he makes the fair catch at the 21. Jackson will take it out close to the 25-yard line.
Ward drills it complete. Tamaris Vandiver. Pressure backside, zips it complete. Kez McCorby, and he will be shy of midfield. They give it to the fullback. Short yardage straight ahead by Floyd. No score. Nine minutes and 40 seconds left to play in this opening quarter. Play action by Ward to the far sideline. That one is intended for Vanover and well overthrown. Kevin Knox has just come in. They need only one running back with Ward. And he can throw. That's a lateral. Sean Jackson with the long throw, and it is out of bounds. Vanover was the closest man there. Had a scrimmage by Carolina. Now they come off of that. And here is a whistle and a delay penalty. We have a dead ball foul. Ball start on the offense. Five yard penalty. Still fourth down. Jerry calls for the fair catch. Leon Johnson, number 12, comes in the tailback. Anderson, the big fullback, will take it close to the 30. All right, Adrian. There is a lot of emotion in this ballpark. Option to the open side. Stanisak will keep it, and it'll be close to the first down. May have it. This time for William Henderson. Curtis Johnson now checks back into the ball game at tailback along with Marshall. And here comes the reverse. Bucky Brooks. He's loose at the 35 and caught by Corey Sawyer. 32 yards. Straight ahead with the carry. Johnson gets the pitch, tries to turn the corner, and that is a great job by Florida State that time. Corey Holiday is the possession receiver for North Carolina. He takes the draw. He's going to go long. Got tangled up. He's open. Touchdown, Bucky Brook. Decision by Jason Stanisek. Bucky Brooks, the big play receiver, lays out for the touchdown. And then he can kick it off. And again, very short. This is done. Caught from behind. Knocked down for a loss. Shy of the 25. Dumps it right over the middle. Out to the 35 is McCorby. There it is again. Right back over the middle. This time it's uh, Vanderbilt. Hold it. He get whacked at the 46. Ball is loose. Was it over? North Carolina football. Johnson. He'll get a couple. Let's go to Adrian Carson again. This goes to Leon Johnson. He wants to throw. Too far at the five-yard line. Corey Holiday is who he wanted at 19. He started tonight. Senior out of Woodbine, Georgia, in the 19. Pressure from the outside. Stanisak gets hit from the pass just off the fingertips of Holiday. Ball for the fair catch, and it'll go into the end zone. Well, Kevin Knox with the completion of Ward again, right over the middle. The soft spot. 
out to the 38. Kez McCorby this time. And they can get the player play to the receivers and the offensive linemen. Sloan just went out to his running back, Sean Jackson. And he'll have the first down at the 42. That is complete to Vanover. Close to the first down, and again they got a down to play with on second and short. Blitz coming up the middle. Wartz wins it out. This is done. He's dangerous in the open field. He'll have the first down. And that has happened, and it's been a very good situation for both. Zings it deep over the middle. Has it complete? McCorby inside the 30-yard line, down at the 27. Good pressure up the middle by Carolina. He's going to run. Inside the 20s, down to the 16-yard line. He got the blitz on, and a good play call here as he get it to Dunn out in the flat. Couldn't get away from his own man. He will, and he'll score. That's the Tony Dorsett move. From Aurora, Colorado. Splits this one. And we are tied with a minute and 31 seconds left to play in the opening quarter. A two. Then they can kick it off. This is Wall waiting at the five. Good coverage by the Seminoles. That's... And that's Leon Johnson for short yardage. Again, the situation Mike talked about, second and long for Carolina, what they don't want. There's the track. As the pitch goes to Leon Johnson, goes across the 30 and Adrian Carson. At the end of the first 15 minutes of play, it is North Carolina 7 and the number one team of the nation, Florida State 7. Let's take a break. We'll be back to crowded Chapel Hill after we pause for this. by Corey Sawyer. Now they say incomplete. Well, what a job defensively is he? Corey right there, as we mentioned, he had a hit pointer. Pressure coming on the kicker, but this is a damage. Wow. All the way back to the 13-yard line. And great coverage by Carolina. 57 yards. is incomplete and now the umpire coming up says nope and hit the ground it was the first miss by Ward in his last 10. that one is dropped and Fryer pays for it maybe some type of shovel draw some type of run play Ward will be stopped after a couple of yards gained. And rush, now they come off of that, they'll rush eight. Jerry is the deep man, and this is a good kick by Florida State, back to Carolina. Jerry will try to return it. Hit and excellent coverage by the Seminoles on this trip. One for eight, you cannot get in long yardage against this Florida State defense. Leanne Johnson shooting once, he gets him. Good open field tackle. Somebody Johnson gets the pitch back to Curtis Johnson. And Bobby Bowden said, we play a lot of kids and it's hot and muggy in our place. We like it this way. Stanisek rushed out of the pocket, now gets it away, and that's DeLong breaks the tackle. Has the first down, plus five, plus ten, and he's out to midfield. We North Carolina's recruiting the same kids we are, and they're getting a lot of it. Straight ahead with the running play by Marshall. They'll go for a couple. Second and long for North Carolina. And it's up with the pitch, and it's Curtis Johnson. And close to the first down, and on that spin, he may have gotten it. May need extra breathers tonight. On first down, this running play will go for nothing. Pressure on Stanisek, going to scramble it. And that's where that athletic ability of Florida State just kills you. Coming after him. We have a hold! 
On the offense, 10 yards. For the score, and that's how we stand. Draw play. Leon Johnson. He'll take it safely to the 47. One setback for Leon Johnson. Now this can be an option play as they send the man in motion, and he will not get a chance to pitch it. Derek Alexander. Funnel everything inside. You don't want to let Corey Sawyer get outside. That was an eight-man rush, and Florida State came close on the wing. Picks up one good block at the 20, tries to turn the corner, and then is flipped high at the 23. We have a block in the back. That's a change of possession. 10-yard penalty. First down from the penalty. It's at the 13. Sam Jackson. going to be a 15-yard penalty there. We have holding on the offense, face mask on the defense, the penalties offset, first down. Look at this number right here. Florida State normally averages 240 a ball game tonight, 19 rushing yards so far. Ward zips it, has it complete Lonnie Johnson. And the big senior from Miami rambles out to the 35 yard. Jim Donnan's done a nice job coaching the Marshall team. Yep. Charlie swings this one out and a little bit behind Sean Jackson. Ward will have the first down plus three. Around the left side. He got the touchdown pass for the Seminoles. Up to the one, and he drops the ball. Got a hurry, one second, and I don't know if he got it off. No flag, and Ward will be tackled at the 50-yard line. Pass to the Mississippi. Ward over the middle and incomplete. This Matt Fryer is the man he was looking for. Flag is down. Ward scrambles. He's not going to have it. Ball is loose and picked up by North Carolina. for a 15-yard game. This is the Curtis Johnson. Now here comes the pressure backside, and he's sacked by Todrick McIntosh, the senior. About time to come back to the option. And that's what they try to go straight ahead, though, with Malcolm Marshall. Here comes the pressure. Stanisak running for his life. Ball is loose and is picked up by Florida State. Did they hold on to it? Florida State football at the 41-yard line. Derek Alexander. Sean Jackson wanted to go left, turns it right. Has five, has ten, count it off at 11, and that'll be enough for the Florida State first down. Just gone under five minutes left to play until halftime. Fullback, William Floyd. And he's close to the 45. Marquette Smith, number 22, is coming to the backfield for Florida State. It's a run situation again. He so takes it to Ward still with the football. And just overthrown Kez McCarvey because he has hit only one of his last eight passes after hitting 10 in a row early on. Dumps it off and has 
gets it complete, and that will be enough for the first down to Marquette Smith. Oh, my goodness. At that point, 12 out of 17. North Carolina's losing first down. This one is caught just shy of the first down. Kevin Knox. That's what they do. Marquette Smith with the running play. Gets by one tackler, but the Seminoles are threatening to turn it into points right here. Running play again. Big opening up the middle for Smith, almost to the 15-yard line. His play is the center sophomore out of Tifton, Georgia. Very tight this time with the offensive line formation. And they come with the pitch. Smith gets one block, and it's going to be spun down at the 11-yard line by Sean Boyd. Smith gets one block, and then he is denied the 10-yard line. This drive, nine plays, 49 yards. Loaf over the middle, incomplete. Andre Cooper. Danny Cannell is the holder. This will be an attempt of 27 yards. Got plenty of leg, and he's got plenty of field goal. As Florida State vaults on top with 48 seconds left in this opening quarter, and it's now Seminoles 10 to 7. They deferred to the second half so they could open the second half with offense. Even Jerry from the three. And Carolina came away with no points off the turnover. Exactly. But there's the run you're talking about. Now for Marshall and Curtis Johnson behind Stanisek. And that'll do it as Derek Alexander comes up to make the stop. It is halftime. And they head to the locker room. Florida State, 10. North Carolina, 7. Wall lets it get by him. You go down at one knee in the end zone, and North Carolina will take it 1 of 14 for North Carolina. And in fact, 16 to 20, you would think that maybe North, uh, Florida State might have done even better in that first half. Stanisek, option play is not going to work here. McIntosh. Here they come with the option. Stanisek with the pitch, and they're very fortunate. That Third down of the line to make is their own 30. gets belted as he throws the pass and Seminoles with a 10-man rush. Thomas gets his punt away. Fair catch at the 48 and a half yard line, but he gives a pretty good one too. Sean Jackson to the right side. Will break Jackson. off a tackle and wind up with a gain of close to five. <laughs> a feeling, Mike, that we're going to see Florida State try to do that right there. In a the box, you count the defender. Six, you run the ball. Seven, you throw it. Pass is complete, and he'll have the first down, Kevin Knox. Take the play from this time. Vince over the middle. He's got him there and complete it for five, and Knox will score. Three yards for the touchdown. So let's take a break. 17 to 7. Number one Florida State beginning to roll. He's a good quarterback. Big strong kid. 62 25. Wall five yards deep. He won't return this one. The numbers on him this year, 6 of 11, no interceptions, 111 yards, and one touchdown. We have all sides on the defense. Curtis 
Johnson will take it across the 26-yard line. Leon Johnson, the freshman from Morgantown, North Carolina, number 12, is at tailback. Thomas. And Leon Johnson for short yardage. Second down, and they need the 43-yard line. Open side, and there's not going to be much there this time. That's Ken Alexander. All right, golly, and I think the 25 second clock. Dead ball, delay on the offense, five yards, still third down. Zings it over the middle, intercepted. Richard Coes. Finally pushed out of bounds at the 25, and it's a 29-yard return on the interception. Also 22, Marquette Smith, the tailback. He gets the pitch. Good block out front, but that is a nice job defensively by 26. He allows you to run the football, but he's also a good pass receiver. Play action, good fake by Ward. Gets it back from the throwback to Lonnie Johnson to the big tight end inside the 10. Adrian Karsten. Far side of the field. Just underthrown. Kevin Knox is a man he wanted. We played a lot of people. Marquette Smith with a very nice cut. Got him open. Caught it out of bounds. Kez McCorvey. Close whether he's in. Let's see. Yeah, now, he stepped right good in the call. end line. Good call. He can get a penalty as well, right? Bentley with the field goal attempt at 21 yards. He knocks it home. So two turnovers have caused two field goals to North Carolina. 20 to 7, our new score. We'll be right back. Florida State 20, Carolina 7. Leon, five carries, 11 yards. Curtis, eight carries, 36 for a total of only 47 yards tonight. Wall's going to return this one. And let's go down once again to Adrian Karsten. It cost him the interception the last time. Not good to be in the third long with this bunch. Pressure up the middle, and he's... Well, no, he's close. Not going to have the first down. The punter, he'll handle it. Pressure up the middle this time, and they almost got some. And they have roughed the kicker. Charlie down at the 33-yard line. And clean. Yeah, rough the kicker on the defense. That's an automatic first down. Put North Carolina away. Number 19, Mac Knight, runs right into Mike Thomas. Colorado comes calling against the Stanford Cardinal. Brad Nessler and Gary Danielson standing by for that without on the coach. The over-the-middle tip and almost intercepted by Florida State. Hey, you better be bilingual, huh? <laughs> What a kick. Nope, they're going to say couldn't hold on. Dragged along when they need the 46 to Florida State. Look at the pressure. Gets away, and it's intercepted. Derek Brooks is going to take it the distance for the touchdown. 49 yards. Players all listen when Derek Brooks talks. As a matter of fact, I listen to him when he talks. So let's take a break. 27 to 7. Florida State has blown this one open. Bentley's kick deep to wall. He's going to return this one from the one. I'm not sure he can't play linebacker in the pros. 
Curtis Johnson straight ahead with the running play. And James in the pocket. That ball is tipped, and that one was almost intercepted. Florida State tonight. They got NC State next week. Quarterback draw. Derek Alexander steps up to make the hit. So it's their uh, 35 on. They got some pretty good players. Sawyer retreats to the 33. Jackson straight ahead. That's a tough couple of yards. I mean, meant that the games against Miami were the ones that were called a game of the center. Under the protection for Charlie Ward Fryer. Gets blocked and then it's going to be knocked down hard. Right now they lead by 20. Zooms it complete at the 50 and that's enough for the first down as Vanover. Ward, really good fake. Back over the middle. And because of the ag lib, the receiver, Kez McCorby, comes up to make the reception. Now it's turned over. And Bernardo Harris has the football. Well, there is a smash right there. It's Mike Thomas. So that is the end of the third quarter. Let's take a break. 27 to 7, Florida State. Pocket was the inbounds. Yes. If they don't want to leave. This running play will go for absolutely nothing. And speaking to Ronnie. Ronnie, you can afford to recruit the top 2% of college football, of uh, high school football players in the nation. Mac Brown calls this maybe the best college football team ever. Is that accurate? Well, I don't know if it's the best team or not. Just a lot of things are going good for us right now. We're proud to be a part of that. Ronnie, you're doing a great job. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Okay, Adrian. As a marker comes in, the sixth sack of the night. <laughs> Sawyer from the 23, and that's good coverage for the Tar Heels. Goes straight ahead with the fullback, and William Floyd muscles off a couple of people and then is going to be pushed back at the 27. See the blitz coming, and back over the middle, Lonnie Johnson. And the tight end. Depend on the spot. John Jackson, good change of direction. And, you know, Adrian, probably the most impressive thing about Charlie, who is just a great kid, is he would like to leave his mark away from football as well as on the football field and basketball, for that matter. And that's William Floyd, and that's the point Mike was making. He'd like to use him as a receiver as well. down two and a half pressure up the middle Charlie's gonna run it he's got the first down and a lot more now goes down at the 30 yard line as fortunate as I am Charlie Ward got the first down and Sean Jackson on the sweep this time by the way pitch and now the reverse this is Van over Inside the five-yard line. And Florida State, if you joined us late, they trail 7-0. And then they have come on with a vengeance. Straight ahead. And the fullback, William Floyd, will get the six-pointer. Bentley with the extra point attempt. My gosh, he missed it. So let's take a look at the touchdown run one more time. Second touchdown of the year by number 44, William Floyd.
already is awfully good. But it bothers his head coach no end that he is missing extra points. He's here for one game. Get him ready for the game with Miami. Really tough conditions to kick in, but uh, there, there have been three that he's just missed. Pressure. Gets one block. They're still just flying bodies all over the place, and Michael Thomas is going to run. And let's go to Mike Tirico. Don't forget, coming up immediately after the ball game, Colorado, number eight in the nation against number 20, Stanford. Bill Walsh and his crew playing host to a tough bunch of Buffaloes. Charles Johnson, Michael Westbrook. Good young quarterback. They're going to be accountable this year. Big hit at the line of scrimmage on Leon Johnson. Got it complete. Corey Holliday. Ball comes loose, but he was down. And this is just the first step playing in one of these games. What a hit, Derek Brooks. Leon Johnson. By the way, we had some great shots. To that was going to be batted down at the line of scrimmage. Fourth down, and they'll go for it, obviously. And now here comes a late flag into the pile. No foul. No foul. No foul. Five-year student. But it was not to be this evening. John Jackson on the running play out of the shotgun. Howard Snellenberger with a big win over Arizona State. Mm -hmm. Jackson to the outside, and he will pick up the first down. So Virginia's got him in a perfect spot. There's no good time to go to South Bend, Indiana. <laughs> That'll be another game of the century. I mean, he, he plays all over the place. That pass was it. I reached in my back pocket. I said, what's there? And he said, that's my backup game play. It's Warwick Dunn still on his feet. Don't forget, coming in the ball extremely well. He's finally healthy. And you're right, an extra receiver out of the backfield. Yep. Marquette Smith this time in the open field. Taken down hard at the 20-yard line. That was good for 25. And hit in the backfield, Warwick Dunn. Going to be stopped for a loss. Of to reverse. Boy, what a hit on Warwick Dunn. Complete control of this football game. For Paul Pestelon and his uh, staff. 21-21 tie. Pitch to Marquette Smith, and it's being whistled down. Heard school career passing yardage. Ball short on the offense. Good game by Eric Zier. Doug Graber, who's done a nice job at the Rutgers program to take his Scarlet Knights into uh, Penn State and try to get a victory. Clarence Williams with the carry, and that's going to be the final play of this football game. His Florida State Seminoles are the number one team in the land right now. at the 30-yard line, and the ball game is over. That's it from Keenan Stadium, our final score. Florida State, 30.